In 1505, Leonardo da Vinci began painting his mural to commemorate the Battle of Anghiari here in the Palazzo Vecchio's Great Hall, the seat of government in Renaissance Florence. Fast forward 60 years as artist Giorgio Vasari nears completion on a major renovation that raises the ceiling of the hall, da Vinci's mural disappears. In its place, on the expanded walls, Vasari paints his own murals. So what happened to Leonardo's masterpiece? Over the years, University of California San Diego bioengineering alumnus Maurizio Saracini, class of 73, discovered two important clues to the location of the Battle of Anghiari. The words Cerca Trova, Seek and You Shall Find, painted on a tiny banner in Vasari's mural, words not visible from the floor of the hall, and a radar and thermographic survey, which confirmed that part of the east wall was the only area hiding a thin pocket of air behind several square meters of the Vasari mural. The findings lent credence to the theory that Vasari saved the master's mural by building a brick wall in front of it, then painting his own mural on the new wall. Poi all'ingegner Maurizio Saracini che illustrerà nel dettaglio. Fast forward again to March 2012, media from around the world converge on the Hall of the 500 to hear preliminary results from a search for the long lost mural led by a team from UC San Diego. As Jacobs School of Engineering professor Saracini took the podium, at last, evidence that the team may have pinpointed the location of the lost Leonardo. The results are very encouraging, but a lot, a lot more needs to be done in order to, um, to prove the existence and uh, the state of conservation of the Battle of Anghiari beyond the shadow of a doubt. Saracini returned to San Diego in 2006 to become founding director of the Center of Interdisciplinary Science for Art, Architecture and Archaeology, GISA III, and later a National Geographic Fellow. In late 2011, the mayor of Florence, Matteo Renzi, approved the use of a modified medical device and endoscope to look inside the wall. To limit any damage, UCSD collaborated with Florence's top art conservation agency, the Opificio delle Pietre Dure, which drilled six tiny holes in locations that no longer contained original material applied by Vasari. The researchers then snaked an endoscopic probe with a minuscule camera and scooper through the holes. Red flakes on the wall behind the wall were organic, in a place where organic material normally should not be found. Other images showed a beige material inside the wall that could only have been applied with a paintbrush. Most importantly, the probe retrieved a sample of black material which proved to have a chemical composition similar to a black pigment found in brown glazes used on the Mona Lisa. With the Opificio planning to perform restorations on the Vasari mural in 2013, the UCSD team hopes to collaborate on further probes in areas where no damage would be done to the original Vasari. The Anghiari project garnered headlines around the world, highlighting the increasingly global reach of UC San Diego. Most of the U.S. students working on the project were funded by the National Science Foundation, a project led by Chisa III's Saracini and principal investigator Falco Kuster, and based in the California Institute for Telecommunications and Information Technology, CalIT2. Half a dozen graduate students funded by NSF spent from two weeks to six months in Florence working on the Anghiari project and their own research. The bulk of funding, however, came from a dedicated group of private donors led by Qualcomm CEO Paul Jacobs and his wife Stacy, Fiji Water co-founder Doug Carlson, and other benefactors of Chisa III. The importance and value of private support for the project and our cultural heritage cannot be minimized. Professor Saracini is now spearheading a permanent UC San Diego presence in Florence. Slated to open in late 2012, the new center will become a magnet for researchers from UCSD, other University of California campuses, and beyond. The region of Tuscany is providing free of charge a 10,000 square foot headquarters for the new UCSD center in an historic building in the heart of Florence the birthplace and ancestral home of Amerigo Vespucci. Saracini will be the center's director, and he says officials in Tuscany hope the center will jumpstart collaborations not just in cultural heritage, 
but also among U.S. and Italian researchers in medicine, healthcare, bioengineering, and other fields where UCSD boasts a world-class reputation. UCSD has already signed partnership agreements with the University of Florence and several other Italian campuses and research organizations. While there are dozens of undergraduate study abroad programs in Florence, the new UCSD center will be a breed apart as the only American university center in Florence tailored to research experiences for graduate students. Saracini believes it will put UCSD firmly on the map in Italy and eventually trigger a steady stream in the other direction of European students eager to do their graduate studies at UC San Diego.